action. Hey kids, moms and dads. Welcome to the 10th annual Back to School Carnival. I am Chef Jennifer Carroll. You may know me from Bravo TV's Top Chef All-Stars or my restaurant here in Philadelphia named Spice Finch. This is the first ever virtual carnival and I, being a friend of St. Christopher's Hospital for Children, wanted to share with you one of my all-time favorite carnival treats. We're going to make the popcorn ball. This is such a super, super simple, easy recipe that you can make at home with an adult, your parents, your friends, your sisters, anybody. You only need three ingredients. You need popcorn. <laughs> you can make a mess if you want, but your mom might get mad. Uh, butter and marshmallows. And then you can use whatever type of sprinkles you want. You, I like rainbow, I have chocolate here. And if you want your favorite cookie or chocolate treats, I like to smash up some Oreos and put them on it too. So remember, if you're making this at home, it does get hot with the marshmallows and butter and it can burn you. So make sure there's an adult in the room and we're gonna get started. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is gonna turn on our heat and we're gonna heat our pot up to a little bit slightly warm, not too hot. And we're gonna add in three tablespoons of butter, which I have here. Butter. It's one, two, and three. Oh. Now you can also melt your butter and marshmallows in the microwave if you want. And if you do that, put it in a microwave safe bowl and you can cook it in the microwave on high for about two and a half minutes. And now we're gonna add in our marshmallows. I like to use the mini marshmallows because they melt faster. I'm gonna put them all in. Now I like to stir it with a wooden spoon that I spray with a little nonstick spray so the marshmallows don't stick to it. This is a trick that we use in the kitchen. So if you use it, it'll be like you're a professional chef. Okay, we're gonna stir, stir, stir. Get these marshmallows and butter all nice and melted. It's looking good. And when I make my popcorn balls, I like to put them on like really fun straws that I have. So I have these really cool paper straws that I just cut in half with scissors and I use them. If you don't have paper straws, you don't need them. You can just roll them off and eat them as is, or you can get some fun like cupcake papers and you can roll them up and you can serve them in little cupcake papers to your friends or yourself and have them as a snack. Oh, this is looking good. But this is exactly where you need an adult in the room because it's getting really hot and bubbly and you don't want to get this hot marshmallow like lava on you. Ooh, smells good. I love, 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 love marshmallows. Okay. If you can see, it's all totally melted. And it's like nice and like golden buttery. And now from here, I'm going to, I'm gonna pour the popcorn into, into this so we can mix it around. I'm actually gonna get a bigger bowl and put the popcorn in it. So I'm gonna do probably almost all of it. And now we're gonna pour this marshmallow all over. Oh, 
Yum. Okay, put that out of the way. And now we're going to stir it in while it's warm. We want to work while the marshmallow is warm so we get all of the popcorn coated. Now, if you ever made Rice Krispie treats at home or you made them before, you're going to say, this seems familiar. Well, it's just like making Rice Krispie treats but with popcorn and having a little bit more fun by adding in the sprinkles or your Oreos or your Snickers or Kit Kat, peanut butter cups. Whatever makes you happy, that's what you want to use. Okay, this is looking really good and really sticky. One other thing, you want to make sure that there's no unpopped popcorn in your popcorn. The kernels, if you bite into them, you don't want to hurt your teeth, so make sure you check that first, okay? All right, this is looking really good and gooey and sticky. I'm going to move this over a little bit, and I have a piece of paper here. You can use wax paper, parchment paper, and we're going to turn the popcorn out onto it. And I'm going to spray it first, again, with a little bit of the spray. And I'm going to spray my hands. Again, another kitchen trick. And what this does is it, now the popcorn balls won't stick to you. OK? Now you might want to wait a little bit so the popcorn and the marshmallows cool down and you don't burn your hands on this. But doesn't that look so good? Okay. Now you can just push it down. I like to put in sprinkles because I think rainbow sprinkles because I think they look so fun. And I just sprinkle all over everything. Turn it over and I mix it up because even if I add Oreos or chocolate sprinkles to this, I like the rainbow sprinkles in there because I like the colors and the, and the fun, how fun they look. Okay, so I got my scissors and I'm going to cut a couple of these straws in half. They don't have to be perfect, just go for it. I like purple. And I'm going to start making a little ball. I'm going to put the, pot, the straw right in the center and I'm going to push it around so it sticks to the straw. And I want a little bit of the chocolate sprinkles on here so I'm going to dip it right into the bowl of chocolate sprinkles. There you have it. So easy and so quick that you can do this at home. So this one, again, make it nice and tight on your popcorn stick. And I want more sprinkles, so I'm going to roll it in all the sprinkles. And you can see how many sprinkles are on here and how cool it is, how fun these look. Okay, so you're going to keep on going and you're going to make all these into popcorn balls just like I have here and enjoy. All right, have a great back to school.